All right, uh, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody uh, woke up, fell out of bed, and dragged a comb across their head. And hopefully I don't get sued for that, since that is a uh, great song. We're a part of it. Anyway, I thought I'd do a video on the uh, progress with the navy blue Moscows, and also the black Moscows, and uh, what's left of the uh, full black Moscows. So, obviously I'm starting out with the navy blue Moscows. Trying to get this guy on there. And he just wants to show us his tail. Alright, anyway, the females are the same as the uh, the black Moscow line. And uh, males are looking pretty good. They're a little skinny, but uh, they're young ones. And these are set up as breeders. So, the water is pretty clear because I didn't put in any... Uh, Live baby brine shrimp for him yet. Alrighty. Well, this one uh, wants to show up. There we go. So that's the navy blue uh, Moscow. And really cool looking fish. Uh, they're almost completely uh, blue, but there is a little uh, area on the underside of their stomach. Boy, he's jumpy. That uh, stays kind of white. So they don't have Dumbo ear peck thin things. If I can get a close up. There you get a pretty good view of uh, what the guy looks like. So normal size peck fins. And if he turns some more, you can see that uh, spot or area on the stomach that doesn't get uh, any blue. And uh, the ventral fins are blue. The gonopodium is even blue. Very cool. So this one's got the... Uh, they're not streaks or spots in the tail. It's... Uh, I think he got nipped a little bit. Which is kind of common with the black Moscows. If I keep too many fish in the uh, tank. Or the blue Moscows is what I meant to say, but I said black Moscows. So, how do you uh, fix a cracked pumpkin? With a pumpkin patch. A pumpkin patch. That's awful. Truly awful. A lousy joke. Man, this guy is like uh, time traveling. He's just boogieing. Ah, it might be the best uh, picture I can get of him. With a little bit of dirt in the tank. Now, I just put them in this tank, so it's pretty incredible that they've dirtied it up already. But there you can see the blue pretty uh, plainly. And uh, nice fish. It's uh, definitely a cool line. It was something extra I didn't really expect to have to find tanks for. And these will be the black Moscows, except there's uh, Ed Sheeran. Yo, buddy, Ed Sheeran, let's hear it. Hey, he sucks. Not a fan. All right, these are the Black Moscows. These are some breeders I set up. They're in a temporary tank. Wow, and look at that unabashed plug for uh, Grade D high protein food. This is the fry food, as is that one, and that's the regular food. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, this female is fairly close to drop and fry. That one's not too far off. You can see that these females are a little bit darker. Obviously, they're black. The males have a nice uh, amount of black on them. Let's see if I can actually get a close-up of one. So, this was the same uh, group initially that I started getting the dark blue Moscows out of. Uh, but these are definitely black. So I don't know what the heck happened there. I obviously selected a male that wasn't completely uh, black, which kind of sucks. So I ended up messing up the line. And that's really all it takes. But luckily, I had plenty of others, as I always do, set aside uh, so I could resurrect things with the black Moscows. So that's good. And that's always uh, a good idea to do. If you have uh, a strain of fish you're working on, you know, try to uh, 
set up an extra tank even if it's a small one like a five and a half two and a half with a backup trio or backup two pair so what did the uh, Dalmatian say after dinner that hit the spot that hit the spot that's terrible that's two terrible ones in a row pretty impressive it's not easy all right and this will be uh, I'll probably wrap up the video with this if I can get them on here these guys got really chopped up by these females who are hiding who are very aggressive now these are my they were really nice uh, black Moscow males let me see if I can get the females to well there you go they're they are jumpy now that's the original female I got uh, when I bought the uh, the line and these males have really gotten bitten up by these two females now the other female wherever she's hiding we'll try to get her out uh, not out of the tank but out in the open and uh, that is uh, when we find her come on all right she don't want to come out oh, she's right there somewhere be a little hard to see them I'll have to figure something out without scaring the crap out of them or knocking the light off. There we go. That's the female that uh, was briefly in the camera. And that one is really the fry of this one. And she's never had fry again. It was just a one-shot deal. Uh, the males have all died off. Really trying to get this female to come out. There you go. She's in pretty good shape. Jeez, these things are jumpy. And she, I believe she will have fry at some point if I don't scare the crap out of them. Uh, but I do think they eat the fry when there are fry. But she's normal as far as uh, body size, filling out, all that stuff. So I'm expecting to get some fry out of her. Now it's going to take a lot of work. Uh, to get back to uh, full blacks even though my line is pretty close to being a full black even though it's a terrible looking fish and uh, because with the Moscow's usually the males carry most of the genes uh, the females are pretty close to neutral uh, in my experience with doing crosses so I'll have to see what I can end up doing because I would really like to not have to rebuy uh, the full blacks. Uh, like I said, this was a really nice fish until he got ripped up. But I had to put another couple of males in there to try to get somewhere so that this isn't a complete loss. Trying to get her on there. Well, they're both just really being a pain in the neck. All right, well, this isn't helping the video. I don't think they understand that uh, their contract, that they're supposed to show the heck up. Anyway, you can see she's filled out pretty good. And uh, if all goes well, I should get fry within a month. I put these uh, males in about two weeks ago. They had no uh, defects when I put them in, but I'm going to throw a lot more plants in this tank. So uh, perhaps I can uh, maybe get the males from, uh, keep them from getting so beat up. So there's the other one that's nice color, but uh, boy, it really annoys me when they get chewed up like that. So anyhow, so we'll see what happens. Uh, it looks like normal size peck fins on my males. And uh, I'll leave this female alone because she seems kind of jumpy. So anyway, this is the uh, the Black Moscow's and Ed Sheeran. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting some fry out of this one very soon. The good thing with the Black Moscow's for me and the Navy Blue Moscow's is they don't bother their fry at all. Uh, I can even leave the fry in the same tank even though the fry are really tiny some of the tiniest fry I've ever gotten out of any fish 
and uh, they will not bother their fry and I also do keep some plants in there so that's uh, also a help so anyway that's uh, just an update on those I guess three lines and the last thing I'll leave you with is why what do you call a ghost's true love his ghoul friend his ghoul friend ah, I screwed that one up and it wasn't even funny so anyhow that'll kind of wrap it up for this video and uh, I'm working on another one it's already halfway done I was actually halfway done with that one before I started this one so if you have any questions or uh, you know want to buy the food or email me uh, I leave my email address in the video description and uh, uh, you can also leave a comment in the comment section which is very convenient that there's a comment section and I uh, appreciate you watching hope everybody has a fantastic weekend right now it's uh, Saturday the 23rd so we got football tomorrow for people that like football and then we have one of the most special days of the year on Monday it's my birthday I actually get a birthday. I'm not a robot and I'm not a, uh, what else is there? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, like I said, just let me know either in the comments or you can email me. All right, thanks.